Hi, and welcome to Rubyology's third screencast. Today we're going to be experimenting with time. Um, calculations, various calculations based on time. So if we, let's create a uh, t equals time dot now. Okay, time has to be capitalized, but now we've got uh, it assigned to the variable. So if we do another puts t, and then I'm going to do a command apple r, run this, there's our time. Okay, notice we have the uh, day of the week, month, day, time. And we're doing this at uh, 9, 7, 16 p.m. Uh, so it's military time, 2007. And I'm at uh, minus 7 uh, UTC time. Um, so, if we do a, uh, let's see, let's use dot mon for month, we should get a 3, right, for March, okay? Well, if we do a day, we should get a 20th. Oops, I don't want to save that. I want to run that. There we go, 20 for the day. And if we do um, dot year, well, I think you figured out what we'll get, 2007. Now, uh, what's interesting, you saw how we were uh, minus 7 UTC. If we wanted to find out what actually UTC time was, it's a pretty powerful uh, attribute there. So it would actually be 418 in the morning, tomorrow morning, Wednesday, March 21st, uh, UTC time. So that, that is a pretty powerful function there. Um, one thing that I like to use is a um, formatting. It's a time format uh, tool. So if we do a um, str string format time, inside of here we can uh, mix data values with um, text. So this is pretty much like uh, developing in the C language. So if we say um, um, uh, the document print, does, let's put a date is, and from here we do um, use some formatting characters. They all start with a percent. So percent, um, uh, let's see, a percent M for month, and then you can, this, this slash here would be just like any character uh, value. So you put a space, whatever you want, um, percent D for day, slash, percent uh, capital Y for year. Let's run this. This should give us, the document print date is 3, 20, 2007. If this, well, gosh, I don't know why I keep hitting save instead of run. There we go. So 03 slash 20 slash 2007. Now, um, if we wanted to uh, mix this up a little bit, we could say um, percent B is the uh, value for abbreviated month. And I'll put a space. I'll do. I'll still do a percent D for the day, and I'll put a comma. So I'm doing all formatting here. And then if I do a uh, percent cap Y, and I run this, now you'll see we still uh, took advantage of um, the string, but we're using different uh, values there um, for the date. So there you go. There's some uh, fun experimentation with uh, the time functionality. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Rubyology.